Atlanta Development Incorporation is a faith-based non-profit organization which was started in July 2008. Atlanta provides a platform where talent can be nurtured, explored and utilized to bring about a positive effect in one's life and also in people around them. So, Talanta, what does that mean? Talanta is a Swahili word meaning talent. Talanta, therefore, is a platform that illuminates into the depths of untapped potential amongst the youth. There is a place for everyone in Talanta, including but not limited to youth pastors, leaders, the young and the old, to actively engage and contribute in the well-being of our community and generations to come. The Talanta Development Incorporation hosts the Talanta Africa Awards annually in different states. The purpose of this award ceremony is to expose, promote, and celebrate gospel talent from Kenya and across Africa. Talanta also sponsors students based on their merit. It also creates an opportunity for the young Talanta participants to actively engage and also contribute to deserving financially challenged students back in Kenya. Currently in the United States of America, Talanta is sponsoring five students in community colleges. Um, I just want to find out what is your view, or what is your general view on the Kenyan youth here in the diaspora in regards to opportunities that we have and also the challenges that we are facing here in the diaspora away from home. That's a very, very important question and I thank you for asking it. I like to read from two perspectives. One, generally speaking, being a member of the Kenyan government here, and two, from the perspectives of being a mother here. Well, the opportunities are large. And as you might expect, with every opportunity, there are the good sides and there are the downsides. The first thing is that for those who come across from Kenya, not necessarily as young people, but let me say a little older, maybe above 16, over 18, it's a definite culture shock that they meet when they arrive here. It's a culture shock for everyone, but for those who are a little bit set in their ways, it's really an uphill task to negotiate your way around a new lifestyle. There are so many influences. There are the positives. There's this first world technology and all its benefits, and studying it is interesting. But with it, there are also the facts of life here that let us understand that they're more open. There is a different family set up here. There's a different form of engagement between children and their parents. There are different stimuluses out there for young people. Here, there's a lot more in terms of social gatherings that may not only be, on the one hand, useful, but also lead young people down the wrong road. I love Yate. Yes. And actually, uh, almost like 70% uh, of the situation that I work with in my personal profession are the young people. And one of the things I've, I've learned about this young generation is a disconnect between a certain, I would almost say, the young adults and the rest of us. And we keep saying, you know, they, they are doing this, they are walking like this, they are engaged in this kind of behavior, they are into drugs, they do all this. We are very good in talking. Yes. But when it actually comes to really engaging yes. in them yes. and uh, participating in the activities relating to them, people kind of diverse the, the, the other way. Yes. And one of the things that really attracted me in the Atlanta is the, is the pool yes. of those people. You yes. know, uh, we have uh, quite a big group of young people that have come here to school. <coughs> they have left their families, their parents back home. Yes. And they come here, they live by themselves. Yes. Yes. And sometimes because of the schedules that people have here in this country, yes. they kind of don't have people to connect to me. So the first thing that really made me to get involved in Atalanta is to see the passion that Maggie had for oh, so these young saying, people. And oh, so not just talking to them, but yes. actually spending time with them, empowering them and trying to dig out the talents and the skills yes. in those young people. Yes. That was really encouraging. And I felt I really needed to be part of that. Part of that. Yes. Many uh, adults sometimes they condemn the young people because they don't understand them. Just maybe like our parents looked at us when we did the twist. 
and they thought we were really headed for help. But what we need to recognize is in the young people is to see them in their context, uh, in the time they are living, the values surrounding them, appreciate, acknowledge them, and affirm them as they are. Before you can impact someone's life, you have to validate them where they are right now. Because by now, I don't know where I will be. Uh, I was gonna be at this point in time. I don't know where this life that that I was living was taking me. But I know for sure that it wasn't gonna end well. It wasn't gonna be the life that I wanted to live. And I wasn't gonna be a brave lady who can stand in front of the people and tell them about my lifestyle, you know. And for sure, even for the person who brought me up, my brother, he wasn't gonna be impressed. He wasn't, he wasn't gonna be happy about me, about my life that I was gonna be living in the near future. That's the most definite thing that it wasn't leading, it wasn't leading me anywhere good. Going into pharmacy school wasn't really a cup of tea for me. I didn't really like it at first. It was very challenging because I studied in the University of Nairobi School of Pharmacy. Um, in that institution, you meet the creme de la creme of the country, the top students. So I was a bit intimidated at first. You'd meet people from all over Kenya, and it was a bit intimidating because these are some of the best minds in Kenya. So um, it wasn't easy at first settling down with all these new faces and I was from a girls school only and now I was being thrown into like <laughs> a mixed campus. So it was hard at first but I kind of got the hang of things so to say. A lot of reading. I have never read like I read in school of pharmacy. We used to read for let's say a minimum of like 12 hours a day that was like during exam time we used to read a lot it takes a lot reading wise also you need a lot of motivation from your friends and your family to just keep going sometimes you read and read hours on end and nothing seems to be going in and you wonder like what's happening you'd actually break down in tears i have moments like that where i just sit on the table and i'm crying because nothing seems to be going in and you know my mom would look at me because she's a doctor by training too and she'd be like marie you know what you need to relax stand up take a walk take a chill pill come back and do it she like basically wipe off my tears and say you know what relax come back to it again so you need like people around you to help you and then basically you need to pray a lot without god no matter how smart you are it won't enter you need to pray before you take on your books pray ask for guidance from the man about we also have an obligation to take care of kenyans whenever they are to protect them from whatever vices they are and to provide for them a backdrop where they can come and converse with us and feel that we'll tell them about opportunities both here and at home and that we'll update them on what young people are doing at home at the mission to the un once a year we do have a conference for you and delegates will come from Kenya to participate here and share the perspectives of young people globally. There are also several other meetings that take place here for young people and the challenge is that these young people should be able to engage with us at the mission so that they are represented in these meetings around the United Nations where they can listen to perspectives of Kenya, share also the same perspectives but also learn about youth globally. For us, those are the issues. I want to say something. Kenyans are entrepreneurial, they are hardworking. And Kenyan youth are entrepreneurial and hardworking. And given the little moral support that we can give both as parents and as government, we know our youth will excel and will bring back a good report. Your office has always had representation at the Talanta African Awards, and you were actually there last year in November for the fifth Talanta African Awards. What was your experience when you were there? My goodness, it was an amazing <laughs> evening. The room was filled, highly charged. You could feel the excitement in the air. The young people were totally engaged. They connected, they linked, and they shared.
Yeah. Yeah. My name yeah. is Chi Chi Where are you from? I'm from, I'm based in Reston, Virginia, but I'm from Nigeria. Oh my goodness, yeah. good to see you here. Nice to see you um, too. What are you looking forward to see tonight? Um, well, I've been here since these two days and I've seen a lot and there's okay. so much, it's amazing to see what God does in people's lives.